Antigua is one of the most popular honeymoon and wedding destinations in the world. With over 1,200 couples jetting to this Caribbean island in the last year alone, to say I do, it's clear to see why. Welcome to Antigua. Lush Valley's beautiful flora, 365 glorious sandy beaches set on a spectacular coastline. Not surprisingly, Antigua was voted the best wedding island in 2005 and 2006, and there are many people available to help organize your special day. In Antigua, we say the beach is just the beginning, and by that we mean that that's just the start. There's so much more to Antigua and Barbuda. There's the history, the heritage, and we have the rhythms of Africa, whilst we have the traditions of England. And so Nelson's Dockyard will show you the only functioning Georgian naval dockyard anywhere in the world. That's history. There's Clarence House. There's the Betty's Hope Plantation. That was one of the major plantations during the era of sugar and slavery. We have so many other sites and interesting places to visit. There was a time when we said, take me to the church on time. No, I think we've gone a little beyond that. And you don't only have to go to the church to get married in Antigua. You can get married on the beach. You can go to Devil's Bridge, which is truly marvelous. You can go to one of the gazebos at the many hotel, one of the many hotels that do marriages. Or you can go to the courthouse if you want to make it a little more formal. But all in all, we look forward to providing a romantic atmosphere for the wedding ceremony and we try to make it as user-friendly as possible so it's easy it's simple it's seamless and it's romantic even when opting for a sunnier climate to tie the knot there are still certain steps you need to take Roberta John Joseph is the island's marriage coordinator. She helps make all the marriages possible. There are several things which entice people to come here. First of all, I think that it's the friendliness of um, the people, the local people here. We're very warm and very accommodating. Two, I think it's a plus that we don't have a residency period here in order to get married. So you can literally come off the cruise ship in the morning and be processed and be married the same day. So that's a big plus. You get the sun, the beaches, and you get a honeymoon and a wedding, everything in one. And we do cater to the needs of the couples specifically. And each, our marriage officers as well, we have 10 marriage officers and they do an excellent job. And I think they're probably the best around the world because what they do, it's not an informal service. Like when you go to the, like the Justice of the Peace, they do tailor each wedding to the needs of the um, couple. They come for the interview to me, bring the relevant documents such as passports. We do require that they have passports or valid ID, picture ID along with their landing card. After that's done, I will assign a marriage officer to the wedding. I'll confirm the date, times, and I'll call the marriage officer and let the marriage officer know of their assignment. Here on the island, we have 10 civil marriage officers, and there are eight female marriage officers and two male marriage officers. And they're responsible for performing all of the civil marriages around here in Antigua. And they're very accommodating, and weddings can take place from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., so they're available at that time. Here on the island, you pretty much can get married anywhere as long as it's not endangering the welfare or the life of the marriage officer. We have had um, weddings on the beaches, at our historical sites, at hotels, restaurants, even at the villas where they ho the, the couples stay or at a, per at a home. It, it's pretty much anywhere that the couple wants to get married. People come to Antigua to get married and I think that we are one of the top destinations to be, to, um, for people to come to get married because it's a combination of um, stuff. It's several factors and I think the main factors are, as I said, the people here, we really do bend over backwards and go the extra mile to show, ensure that the couple is happy. Um, I've had several instances where maybe a couple comes and they don't even have the proper documentation and some other places they would send you away but we do try to work with the couple and say no this is where you can go we have things faxed and fedex to us plus the the, the 
there's no waiting period, that's a big plus. Over the years, we have recognized the importance of weddings here in Antigua, and um, all the entities involved have really taken a great effort to become specialists and to really organize themselves. As you see, at the Ministry of Legal Affairs, we have a wedding department that is dedicated to wed to solely to weddings. That's strictly what I do. I do everything, just weddings, totally weddings. And now what we have found is not only the hotels, that have wedding coordinators and specialize in wedding packages for couples. We have independent wedding coordinators on island who specialize in this thing. So if a couple doesn't wish to go to a hotel, it's not a problem because I can refer them to one of our wedding independent wedding coordinators and they will take care of everything. Here on the island, we have around 10 hotels who offer wedding packages. To name a few, it's the Jumbi Bay Resort, the Jolly Beach Resort, Sandals, and Veranda. Jolly Beach is a three-star all-inclusive resort and is the largest of the hotels on the island. It has 40 acres of lush Caribbean gardens and sitting amongst the palm trees are two gazebos where you can tie the knot, as well as the sandy beach the hotel sits upon. With 462 rooms and a selection of restaurants, it's a large family-friendly hotel. There are three private beachfront cottages, perfect for honeymooners who prefer to enjoy a more secluded stay. Beverly King is the wedding coordinator at the Jolly Beach Resort. Pictures on my wall, the photos on my wall, uh, my inspiration, they help me to create beautiful weddings, you know, all the time. My cards, photographs of couples would like to be on the wall. Once you give me your photos to go on the wall, you make the wedding wall. In Hollywood, you have the walk for the stars, and I have the wedding wall. Paul and um, Frida, the recent couple, and um, they have a beautiful love story. Um, you know, they met each other years ago, went separate ways, came back together. So when they came and they got married and told me this story, it was special. She got married on her birthday. So you know, it's special. They, um, they all have a story. I have another couple, I have another Paul and Sarah, <laughs> Paul and Sarah, and they met me a few years ago at the resort. Unknown to me, they, when the cooking came, and I didn't realize who it was, and they came back, and they saw me and said, you know, we want to get married. And they came back again. <laughs> now we did the wedding this year. Hi, Sharon Beverly here. Just have a check-in wedding for tomorrow. Beverly is helping to coordinate John and Leanne's wedding day, which will take place tomorrow. The capital of Antigua is St. John's, with two distinctive waterfront areas and a selection of shops and restaurants. Sunny and warm all year with soothed trade winds, the average temperature ranges from the mid-70s in the winter to the mid-80s in the summer. Annual rainfall averages only 45 inches, making it the sunniest of the eastern Caribbean islands. English is the spoken language of Antigua. The majority of its inhabitants are of African descent, the remainder being of British, Lebanese, Syrian, Chinese and Portuguese origin. Named by Christopher Columbus in 1493 in homage to Santa Maria de la Antigua, the miracle-working saint of Seville. And in 1632, Antigua was permanently settled on as a colony by the British. The arrival of Sir Christopher Codrington began the sugar era, which led to more than 150 cane-processing windmills, all set upon sizable plantations. Most of the island's historical sites are ruined fortifications, plus you can visit the impeccably restored architecture of Nelson's Dockyard, all reminders of the colonial history of the island. 
As the sugar industry of the British Islands began to dissolve, the island turned towards the development of tourism. And in 1967, Antigua became an associated state of the Commonwealth, achieving full independent status in 1981. Sandals Grand Antigua Resort and Spa is an award-winning honeymoon destination. Set on the breathtaking Dickinson Bay, one of the island's most stunning beaches. This romantic getaway offers the charm of a quaint Caribbean village whilst offers the refined luxuries of a world-class destination. Voted the world's leading honeymoon resort four years in a row, it's a fabulous place to stay. Walter is one of the marriage officers whose role it is to conduct the 1,200 wedding ceremonies that take place here each year. As you can imagine, his work keeps him very busy. Today, he's at the Sandals Resort. I not only love my job, I consider this a great service to my country, where we are offering, we were voted the best wedding destination in 2006, 2005, and it's because of all what we do here, collaborated efforts between the hotel, marriage offices, and the government of Antigua and Barbuda that is making this happen. So I not only love my job, I really enjoy what I'm doing. It's from the heart, and of course, we provide the perfect weddings. In the evening, you're given the most romantic dinner that you can ever, ever imagine. There are no special requirements to this wedding, so it'll be a strictly straightforward wedding that um, everything will be left in my hands to make them as comfortable as possible and to make the ceremony as exciting and wonderful for them. Any minute now, I'll be having a talk with the groom to ensure that he's okay and that everything is fine with him. Exciting. We're going to make it the most memorable occasion for you. Right. Then again, ask if there are any special requirements. Once that is not done, then I'll put him in a position where I'll perform the ceremony. We'll then have the bride uh, uh, getting ready. Then she will be uh, walking up to, you know, music accomplishment from the hotel. This is it, and we are ready. <laughs> She gets into the gazebo, we are then greet her, making sure everything is in place, have her witnesses there. Then I begin the ceremony, uh, greeting them first of all, welcoming them to Antigua, of course. Closer. Going into the ceremony, giving them a sermonette. Okay. And you can come up this way. Now there's going to be an opportunity during the ceremony where I'm going to ask you to hold her bouquet, because I'll then ask you both to turn to each other, holding hands and facing each other. For now, you can begin. We'll begin by both of you holding hands for now. You can hold, take the left hand, right. Lovely. And you just turn your attention to me, and we're going to make it a wonderful wedding. And then we go through the, the vows, and then the, the ring vows, and then after that, of course, I then pronounce them husband and wife. Now, Jody and LaDonna, I want you both to take a good look at these rings. The circle on these rings are a symbol of marriage. And if you notice in the circle, there is neither a beginning or an ending. And so shall your love be totally unending. These rings, they're made of precious metal to represent the precious nature of your relationship. For as often as either of you look upon these rings, may you be reminded of the vows you have made to each other this day and the love you have pledged to each other forever. LaDonna, LaDonna. I, give I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As it encircles your finger, so will my love forever encircle you. 
I give you my heart, all of my love, all that I am and all that I have, I will share with you. With this ring, I thee wed. Wonderful. Jody, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As it encircles your finger, so will my love forever encircle you. I give you my heart, all of my love, all that I am and all that I have. I will share with you. With this ring, I be wed. Now, LaDonna, Jody and I had an opportunity of speaking to each other this morning. We met in the lobby, we spoke for quite a while, and we spoke of many things. And one of the things that I asked Jody is if there was anything really special that he'd have loved to say to you. And he says, Vaughan, I guess we said that to each other last night. We're going to say it to each other again tonight. And we're going to say it to each other forever. But Jody came across a poem within my booklet. And he says, wow, can you read this for LaDonna? And I was most happy to accept that invitation. So I'll read you that poem now. It says, LaDonna, it is impossible for me to capture in words the feelings I have for you. For they're the strongest feelings that I have ever had about anything. Yet when I try to tell you them, LaDonna, or I try to write them to you, the words do not begin to touch the depth of my feelings. And though I cannot explain the essence of these phenomenal feelings, I can tell you what I feel like when I am with you, LaDonna. For when I am with you, it is as if I were a bird flying freely in the clear blue sky. When I am with you, it is as if I were a flower opening my petals of life. When I am with you, LaDonna, it is as if I were the ocean crashing strongly against the shore. When I am with you, it is as if I with a rainbow after the storm proudly showing my colors. When I am with you, it is as if everything that is beautiful surrounds us. And this is just a small part of how wonderful I feel when I am with you. Perhaps the word love was invented to explain all these deep encompassing feelings that I have for you, LaDonna but somehow it is not strong enough. But since this is the best word there is to use, let me tell you a thousand times, LaDonna, that I love you more than love. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jody, you may now kiss your wonderful wife. the photographs, the cutting of the cake, the toasting of the champagne, and then after that they'll have some couples who will have a, a, a going on a, on a boat cruise or going kayaking, things that you really would not expect in the normal wedding ceremonies, you know, in, in different countries. We offer the whole total package, whether it be snorkeling, deep sea diving, uh, kayaking, skiing, and at the end in the evening, you're given the most romantic dinner that you can ever, ever imagine. And as of this very minute, and it may sound impossible, but it's not. But as of this very minute, I want you both to open 
a joint bank account. <laughs> oh, yes. Not with the Bank of America, neither the Bank of England nor the Bank of Antigua. But I want you to open a joint bank account at the Bank of Love. We have the best uh, marriage offices, so your wedding will not just be a personal, personalized one, but it will be a most momentous occasion in your lives. Beautiful places to visit on the island of Antigua. Shirley Heights, which overlooks Nelson's dockyard, is one of the most picturesque of all the wedding locations you can hire. We have a party every Sunday, a, a barbecue party that we have run every Sunday for the last since 1981, and I think that that is um, that is absolutely astounding that you can have the same product and do it over and over and over again and, and have people satisfied with that. So that is what we are best known for. However, we do do lunches and dinners every day, and we are a wedding destination. If you were the kind of person who wanted a, a, a wedding later afternoon, then we could, we could probably order up a wonderful sunset and have that segue into the magic of night at Charlie Heights. I think it's for persons who want a, a, a different kind of wedding. Uh, persons who want to be photographed out on the gun placement, looking over the beautiful harbor, persons who want to be inside of this 18th century building, um, that kind of thing. It would be for persons who want the history and, and, and the ambience, because we're, we're not like any other place on the island. So, yeah, we have very special weddings. Got your everyday wedding. <laughs> They would be outside on the gun placement for photographs and for perhaps a signing ceremony and then come inside here for cocktails or dinner or light hors d'oeuvres if that's what they wanted. So we, we think it is your special day and whatever it takes to make the day very, very special here at Shirley Heights, we're willing to do. Clear day. You, you know, if you were to get married here, you would have the volcano in Montserrat Perhaps puffing away, you get to overlook historic Nelson's dockyard where Horatio Nelson once was stationed with his regiment. Um, and just the most panoramic view that there is. With over 200 hotels and villas on the island of Antigua, there are many places you can choose to stay. One of the most exclusive destinations is the luxurious Hermitage Bay. Nestled in a secluded cove on the west coast, it sits on a white sandy beach with uninterrupted views across the Caribbean Sea. Rachel Brown is the hotel manager. We are 25 rooms, but we have 150 staff. So guests who come here really get a personalized service. We do have on the beach, if you, your guests are lounging on the beach during the day, we have a system where we have a flag that goes up if they need a drink or a cold towel or what have you. So we are always there. We are very discreet because we don't want to be intrusive, but our staff is always there to assist their guests in any way. The beachfront rooms, they have a separate living area and a sleeping area. It's open plan, but distinct areas. And that's the main difference from the hillside suites, which has um, just a sleeping area. But those rooms on the hills, we have their own private plunge pools. Here at Hermitage Bay, we are a boutique hotel. We are very unique in what we sell. Like I said, we sell the peace and the quiet and the getaway from it all. Um, it's very small, very quaint, very private. We are located in a very private cove, um, just in the Jennings area. Actually, it's we are two miles away from the main road, so we are off the beaten part. And that makes us very private, very idyllic, very much of an island feel. You feel as though you're on a separate island from mainland Antigua. Um, we're about 30 minutes from the, from the airport and about 20 minutes from St. John's. Very small, very quaint. 
um, you can easily just be here for two weeks. We actually, our average length of stay is two weeks and not feel bored. Uh, just be by yourself, have your private time. You can pop into St. John's if you like, pop to Shirley Heights, and then you come back here and you come back to that peace and the quiet. Antigua and Barbuda is one of the world's premier honeymoon destinations. And we have the properties that merges with that to make it the complete package. So if you're looking for a honeymoon, a memorable one, one you'll never forget, Antigua and Barbuda is definitely the destination that you should choose. At Hermitage Bay, we do not tie you into a package where you only can come here for a week. If you want to come here for three days or four days, what have you, you're more than welcome. We'll make your honeymoon a time that you'll never forget. It's the morning of John and Leanne's wedding. We chose Antigua because obviously it's a warm climate, beautiful place, absolutely stunning. White sands, best the skies. Best place we've ever been to. Yes. There was no stress. You could see that it was a friendly environment. And um, before we even got here, we knew that we wouldn't have to have no worries. We haven't really had to organise anything because everything is done for you. Um, it's just a matter of... Nerves more than anything. It's, it's just your nerves. Uh, the ceremony that was performed was outstanding. Um, it, it was beautiful. Longer than what we thought, but great. Great. Outstanding. You know, it was, it was different from just any ordinary... The words he said, it was, it was brilliant. Really meant a lot. Yeah. When she walked up the top, they told me to turn around. I turned around and I see my princess. Beautiful. Couldn't understand. Like, just understand. She looked just great. <laughs> oh, I was crying. <laughs> I was crying. I was like, was my mascara right? I was crying. It was the words, you, you know, it was brilliant. <clears throat> Different. Let this be our destiny to love, to live, to begin each new day together, to share our lives forever. For I will love you until the day I die. And I know this now, my love won't run dry. For this is the day where two lives begun and two hearts are now beating as though they are one. We are gathered here to celebrate one of the happiest moments in the lives of Jonathan Christopher Fuller and Leon Jones on this, the 13th day of December, 2007, on this wonderful island of Antigua, here at the Jolly Beach Resort, where the beach, it's just the beginning. We've been together now for over seven years, and it was basically... Time is off. It was right, it was at the right time when I proposed. We had had a couple of drinks. Christmas. And, um, Christmas. I thought, you know, we'd been together so long, we got our own property. Um, we've done everything together, we go drinking together and socialise all the time, best friends. Jonathan and Leanne, in presenting yourselves here today to be joined in marriage, you'll be performing an act of faith. And this faith can grow and develop and last, but only if you both decide to make it so. For a marriage ceremony, 
It represents one of life's greatest commitments. And it is also a declaration of love. For love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous, it is not proud or boast or rude. And love, it does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but it rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never loses faith, and it endures through every circumstances, because love never fails. You see, life on Earth is wonderful when two persons can come together and share their lives as one. Life can be even greater with more purpose, more meaning, more understanding. As long as two persons can share a deep love for each other, nothing in this world is too difficult to overcome. We was in a club and a couple of lads were having a talk and this and that, and I was telling one of the, one of the boys that I'd like to propose. I, I got an inkling she would marry me. And he just said, do it. It's not worth keeping it inside you and thinking you're going to get rejected or nothing. So I decided to go down on one knee with everybody in the club and decided to ask to marry me. And she said yes. Leanne. Leanne. I take you as my friend and love. I take you as my friend and love. I take you beside me and apart from me. I take you beside me and a part of me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and tranquility. In conflict and tranquility. tranquility. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not know yet. Trusting what I do not know yet in all the ways that my life may find us. In all the ways that, my, that our life may find us. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. As it encircles your finger. As it encircles your finger. So will my love forever encircle you. So will my love forever encircle you. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. All that I am. All that I am. All that I have, all that I have, and all that I am, I will share with you. And all that I, I, I have, I will share with you. With this ring, with this ring, I the wed. I the wed. It was, it was emotional, very emotional. Um, I instantly said yes. Didn't expect it, but unexpected, but very nice. And, what I wanted as well and started crying and <laughs> <laughs> I take you as my friend and love. Take you as my friend and love. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and tranquility. In comfort and tranquility. Asking that you be no other. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not know yet. Trusting what I do not know yet. In all the ways that my life may find us. In all the ways that my life may find us. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. As it encircles your finger. As it encircles your finger. So will my love forever encircle you. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. All that I am. All that I am. All of my love. All of my love. I will share with you forever. I will share with you forever. With this ring. With this ring. I the wed. I the wed. Very proud. Very proud to be your husband. By the powers invested in me. By the state of Antigua and Barbuda, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jonathan, you may now kiss your wife. Mm.
I just thought we have many years of happiness together. You know. <laughs> Expanding need for hotels in the booming marriage and honeymoon industry, the newest of these is the eco-friendly retreat, the Veranda Hotel and Spa. The 30-acre resort is situated on the untouched northeast coast of the island, with a historical Devil's Bridge only a short stroll away. The resort is in harmony with nature as it combines the classic appeal of Caribbean charm with modern comfort and style. Cedric Henry is the resort manager. This is the Veranda Resort and Spa. Uh, we are located in St. Philip, in the island of Antigua. We are actually not too far away from the Devil's Bridge, which is one of our historic sites and also our national park. Just in this area, the layout type, we have um, our main pool and also we have the bungalows. The bungalows are separate units, but they are two rooms in one. And of course, they are around 700 square feet. Uh, they, um, I would say they consist of um, king size bed and also sofa bed. Um, we do have a mini area, kitchenette area, where you have a microwave, you have your coffee maker, also a refrigerator. And of course, if you need to do anything, you can do it yourself. Um, just in this area also, we have our pool bar, which is the main bar, opens until one in the morning. We have the Pirates Den, which um, it's more like a sport bar. And also just above that, we have three restaurants. Uh, we have the Sea Breeze, which is, an buffet rest which is a buffet restaurant. We have the Buccaneer, which is an a la carte. And also our fine dining restaurant, which is the Nicole's. Our beach, which is more or less secluded. We call it the Lover's Beach. And of course, it's um, on the Atlantic Ocean, whereas it's um, protected by a barrier reef. So you would not have the waves coming in. Because we are eco-friendly, we do non-motorized water sport activities. So we have the hobby cats, we have paddle boats, we have kayaks, and of course our guests enjoy it. Here at the Veranda Resort and Spa, we have a wedding package where we put together for you. Actually, we have three gazebos at the moment, and of course we finalize everything once you're here. We do have a live band every evening. Uh, we, we do have the steel band, which is a cultural music set up with the pans. We do have our limbo show. And of course, we have our folk dancers. And I mean, this is what you know you want. You come to the Caribbean to enjoy a bit of the culture. And we offer that to you. Um, in the evenings, in the restaurant, we also provide you with some background music from some of our most famous keyboard players. One of them, of course, is Foster Joseph. We call him the Nat King Cole in that um, <coughs> area. And you, you will enjoy it. Of course, everyone come to relax. And when you're here, we have our Tranquility Spa and Salon. At the spa, we have four service area. We have a uh, his and her massage area. We have a single massage area. We have a facial where you get your facial set up. And also we have a manicure and pedicure area, which also um, includes a salon. So we give you all that treatment at the spa. And if, if you want to get even, you know, your, your friends jealous, we have a sauna that gives you that special, you know, I mean, relaxation, so you can have a lovely time when you leave the island. I would like to say that everything is in a centralized area for your accommodation. Just below, we have the fitness center, and also, not too far from the fitness center, we have the kids club, which has its own pool, playpen. It's, it's all accommodative for our guests. Um, the Veranda Resort, I must say, it's, it's unique, it's different. Going down to the beach, we have a 40 steps going down. And of course, you know, if it's a lover's beach, you're going to have something romantic. So it's more romantic walking down the steps and just getting back up the steps, we have our beach bar and grill, which um, give you a service so that you would not have to venture back to the main restaurants if you don't feel like. Um, 
also just overlooking the beach is our, one of our wedding gazebos. And of course, we do have wedding um, on a regular basis, so we accommodate for that also. We get your reception ready. We set you in an area where you can be privately, you know, have your private reception. And we also um, give you the amenities like sparkling wine, you know, you, you get your bouquet, we put you in an area where you have your fine dining. We, we actually do it for you. We actually make it happen on your wedding day. Your phot photographers, we provide that for you. Um, entertainment, it's there. We do everything for you so that you, it's a day that you will remember here at the Veranda Resort and Spa. In the day, we have several activities. You can enjoy a game of volleyball and of course cricket on the beach, soccer on the beach. It's all there at the Veranda Resort and Spa. This is something you come to the Caribbean for. This is something we offer you and this is something we ensure that you enjoy while you're here. Not too far from the Veranda Resort and Spa also, it's Long Bay, which is a lovely beach. Two minutes out of the resort and you get to Long Bay but we are situated, it's a secluded area. You love it, it's relaxing, and of course, we put you on the veranda. That's the veranda resort and spa. Everything is just fresh, and that's the term we use in Antigua. With many more beautiful and romantic places across the world to get married, who knows where we will end up next? Focus on exclusively on Wedding TV.